Not this time. You still owe me. No more until you pay up. But, man, this is an emergency. I'm after running myself ragged, bringing you the news. News? What news? Ah, what are you talking about? <coughs> oh, 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 I'm a little dry right here in my esophagus on the left side. Is the news, it? O'Shaughnessy. Kelly, I seen him. I seen him with my own two eyes not ten minutes ago. The memory is fresh in me brain like footprints in wet sand. Oh, right over in Killeney Woods it was. Glory be to the Lord himself that I finally, after all these years, he's allowed me to bear witness. Witness to what, Liam? And what did you see down there? Why, the little people. The little people? Fine, oh, don't look so surprised. Yeah. The little people. What have I been talking about every day for the past 20 years? Well, now, Liam... Tell us all about it, why don't you? I will. Well, sir, there I was. Just as the sun was going down, finding myself cutting through Killeney's woods, when all of a sudden, I see a strange glow shining ahead of me. <laughs> Well, sir, I don't mind telling you, I thought better of myself investigating such a devilish glow. But then, no, I says, O'Shaughnessy, what have you been preaching all these years? It might be them. Nay, it must be them. So, hitching up me courage and sneaking like a thief, I eases up to the clearing. And there I saw... They're little people. Hi. As real as you and me. All dressed in green. <laughs> and not one of them over three feet tall. Busy as cockroaches they was, working on something, so they never noticed me. Uh -oh. And sheltered overneath the grandest toadstool ever you saw, that twinkled and glowed with its own light while the little ones traipsed beneath it. That's enough! Take it easy now. And not hear another word of it. All right, all right, calm yourself now. Well, what's wrong with him? I bloody can't take it anymore. What have I done? You're driving me half out of me mind, you crazy old coat. Liam, you'd better go. Why? I'll tell you why. We're all out of work. Our lives are going to hell in a handbasket and we come here to get drunk. Not to hear a worthless moot shooting off his bloody mouth night after bloody night. Ah, no trouble now, Mike. O'Shaughnessy, get yourself going now. I still don't know what I've done. What have I said? My God, the man doesn't even know. The little people! What is the truth? If I ever see you in here again, O'Shaughnessy... I'll tear your lying little tongue out of your head with my own two hands. I mean it. Here, Liam. Come on. Let me help you. What the devil came over him? It's just weary of it, Liam. Man, why didn't you stop when I warned you? Because it's the truth. Oh, Liam. It is. Every word of it. Look, I know I've stretched the facts in the past, but this time is different. Eddie, I seen him. Just like I said down at Killeney Wood. All right, all right, whatever you say. Now let's get you up and get you home. You do not have to humor me, Mr. Donovan. I am not drunk, nor am I crazy. 
Now, I do not have much, sir, but I still have my pride. Ian Witt, where are you going? To the only real friends I got. Mulvaney, do you not know what time it is? Aye, it opened a bit late, aren't you? What the devil are you talking about? I close at five, come back in the morning. Didn't I see Liam O'Shaughnessy sneaking like a weasel from here just two minutes ago? Oh, that, well, that was... Wait a minute, I got no need to explain to the likes of you. Oh, and maybe you'd like to explain it to the constable. The constable? Well, what for? I've done nothing wrong. Did I say you had? You don't mean O'Shaughnessy. All right, come in, come in. Mike, whatever he's done, I had nothing to do with it. He said it was an emergency. Emergency? What emergency? Well, I don't know. He just said he needed some supplies. What did he get? Well, uh, some uh, tools, uh, some electrical wire and um, uh, metal strap flanges. And you gave it to him? Well, yes. No, and he hasn't a penny to his name. Oh, but he has. What? He has money. He paid cash. You're lying. Oh, here, I'll show you. There. What the devil is it? It looks like... It is. Gold. Ah, you're daft. It's brass or something. Oh, no. It's gold, all right. Almost an ounce. Uh, queer looking, ain't it? And no markings on it. Where'd he steal it? He told me they give it to him to buy tools they needed. They who? The little people. The little people, man. Are you as lonely as he is? I know, I know. I'm only telling you what he said. The story goes, they have a whole crock of them. And whoever discovers their hiding place... I know the story, you don't have to tell me! Really makes no difference where he claims he got it. Fact is, he got it. Mulvaney, what on earth are you doing here? Where is he, Mrs. Finnegan? Where's who? O'Shaughnessy. He roams here, don't he? Yes, and no. What does that mean? It means he did, but now he don't. What are you telling me, Mrs. Finnegan? It's the queerest thing. He comes busting in, gathers up his things, and told me he was leaving. Leaving? To where? I don't know. He didn't say. But he paid me up and said they was waiting for him. But glory be, he give me this. And then he slips out the back door without another word. 
My God, he's got a whole pocket full of them. Where do you think he's gone, Mr. Mulvaney? Well, now, if it ain't the little rat desert in the ship. Quite a lord you got there. Leaving town, are you? Step aside. I have nothing to say to the likes of you. Hold on. That's no way to be. Kind of thoughtless you're leaving and not saying goodbye to your friends. I know perfectly well who my friends are, and I do not number yourself amongst them. Is that so? Is that so? Yeah, well, sure enough, Piker O'Shaughnessy. What do you mean? You never worked a day in your life. You mushed everything you got from the rest of us. And now you come into the money. You're running out like the sniveling little snake you are. Who told you I had money? Did you not pay for the stuff you're toting? Or did you steal it? You're right, Mulvaney. I am a moocher. And I dearly love to repay you, but I can't. What do you mean? The money's not mine. Then just whose is it? It's theirs. The little people. You got to buy supplies and to pay me rent. Stop! That's enough of that. What kind of fool do you take me for? I know you got a whole parcel of gold. Now be taking what's owed me out of your pocket if you like, or else your hide makes no difference to me. I mean it! Uh, all right. <laughs> but you're making a big mistake. Am I now? <laughs> oh, if you don't mind, I... The rest of it. What do you mean? You've been paid what you're owed. The rest of it, O'Shaughnessy. For the years of torment you put me through. You're a foolish man, Mulvaney. Don't you know that the gold won't last for them that the little people don't like? And I don't think they're going to care very much for you. The money. I'm coming for you, son of a bee! Get out of here! I seen it with my own two eyes. What man? Them. The little people. But it ain't like you think. It ain't leprechauns, don't you see? It's little men from Mars or somewhere. And it ain't a toadstool they're under. It's a spaceship. Why are you looking at me like that? It's a truth I'm telling you. I saw it. They were working on the ship, and O'Shaughnessy brought them tools and supplies. I can prove it. Look. Gold. They got gold. Lots of it. And I got a pace as evidence. <laughs> gold, is it? Look again, Mulvaney. This ain't nothing but a piece of lead. Lead? But it was gold. <laughs> They changed it. <laughs> they changed it, don't you see? They can do that. You gotta believe me. It's true. I seen them. The little people. I swear on my mother's own grave. Please, somebody. You gotta believe me. 
In the days to come, when human beings navigate the great depths of space, they'll eventually come to a small planet in a distant galaxy. It's a pleasant place, but quite unlike the Earth. There's one unusual similarity, however. Shamrocks grow there in great profusion. Brought, they say, by one Liam O'Shaughnessy, lately of Earth, and now residing in one of the greener corners of the Twilight Zone. Thank <laughs> you.